Burgess here with Music Marketing TV. Today we're going to be looking at making this sound with Synth Master 2, specifically the LFO effect that we get right at this section. Let's go ahead and hear it. That is the sound. Specifically, again, we're interested really in this section right here. Very cool effect. So, as is usual, let's go ahead, let's break down the working patch, and then let's make something just like it from scratch. So, oscillator, filter, reverb. That's pretty much the patch. Uh, what really makes it cool is the dynamic movement that we get, get with it, and that's what makes the sound so useful. You can write these crazy harmonies, and then have these like kind of percussive elements coming in and out. So, the oscillator is a sawtooth oscillator, no special features turned on except for the voicing. So, there's four voices and they've been slightly detuned according to, you know, these settings. And that's pretty much it for the oscillator. We hit the first filter. Filter I settled on is Byte. You could pick any low-pass filter. I just liked the way Byte sounded. And if we come down, we have an LFO. So the LFO has uh, two modes. They have a, a single mode and a dual mode. So I have it on dual mode, which allows you to morph between two shapes. And so if you do a sawtooth shape with this, it becomes extremely sharp and pronounced and it, it can just sound like a little too much. Yeah, so I decided to morph in a sine wave. I was trying to do this with just a single shape, but it wound up being easier to just morph between them. So this sort of filters it a little bit, makes it a little bit nicer. So that's what's going on there, and I am automating the speed. Now, if you try to automate the speed directly, at least in FL Studio, you can't do that. But they provide you with some macro knobs called Easy Knobs, and you can link the speed to this. If you right-click and go to, you know, Add Modulation, and then you go to, where is it, Easy Controls. Easy one is what I linked it to. This makes it so you can automate it and sort of control the playback. And then in post on the effects, it's just a one layer sound, pretty straightforward sound, and it's just got a reverb on it, because without the reverb, you know. The reverb really helps it. So let's go ahead, let's make this thing. So let's go and we will, well, let's grab the MIDI, you know, so we have something to work with. And we're going to add another synth master here. So here we go. And let's paste the MIDI in. There we go. Let's mute the first one and let's get to work. So we're going to go ahead. We're going to come up here and we're going to click on init preset. You just uh, left click that and just go to init preset. And all right. So now that we've got this, just a basic patch. We're going to add our four voices as we saw before. And this is just to thicken it up a little bit. Bring the detune curve down a bit. So if we if we dial up the detune. Actually, you know, that might be kind of all right, but you can kind of dial it back some. It prevents so much variation. If you really want a ton of variation, like right out the gate, go the other way. And you'll get a ton of detune. So, pretty, pretty cool. The mapping is super nice. This is something I, I really wish existed in more sense. So, okay, from here, we've got basically, you know, the core sounds already done. Now we're going to come over to the filter click it to turn it on we're going to go over to algorithm and we're going to choose byte again you could use anything but i found that the byte low pass was the one i like the most and we're essentially going to move this thing you know really fast in all kinds of cool directions so we're going to link this cut off by right clicking to it and going to add modulation to an lfo so we go to lfo one it'll automatically move you there it's pretty nice and we've got it in single mode right now and it is not going the way we want. So I want it to go the other way into pull down only. And we are going to switch it to dual. And we are also going to sync it up. So right now, it's not been synced. We're going to click on sync. And we're going to go to, I can't remember what I settled on. You can, you know, sort of choose whatever you want. Uh, maybe eighth notes. No, 30 second notes. Because when it's, when it's the slowest... When the speed is at its slowest, you can go slow. But when you go to the fastest, it will go as fast as 30 second notes. So this sort of sets the top end. So that's how you would pick your, your speed setting. And we're going to go ahead. We're going to morph a little bit. But first, we have our sine wave and our triangle wave. Let's bring it.
bring the speed down. Let's go ahead, let's move over to a sawtooth wave. So our wave is now constantly going up. And we are going to go over to a sine wave. And at this point, let's go, let's mess with the detune a bit more. Very nice. And let's add our reverb in on the effects. So there's actually a couple of places you could do this. You don't have to come to the effects in layer one and then come over here. <laughs> That's kind of a lot. You can actually just go to layer one and you can right click and just choose reverb from here. And it's already on because you selected it. And I don't think I touched this much. I might have brought the mix down some, but let's play some higher notes, yeah. And okay, so all the notes, they, they sort of have their own envelope. So if I push one right after the other, which it can be cool, but I'm gonna come in here and I'm gonna change it to mono. So that they all perfectly match up. Uh, you, again, th that actually might be something you may want to keep it on poly if you really want it to be, you know, crazy sounding or even on random. Uh, but with this setup, we want to move the speed control around. So we're going to right click on the speed control, go to add modulation, and we are going to choose the easy controls, easy one. And it doesn't take you to the page, but rest assured, it has been connected. And we would like the speed, we will start the speed at max and we will uh, click on the speed if it's not showing up over here. We're going to make it go the other way so that the speed when we automate it, it will turn down. Or maybe actually let's go, let's start at the bottom and go up. Not a big deal, but it's just inverting the controls. So the speed, they are down here at the easy knobs and it's not named, you have to name it yourself because who knows what you connected. So I'm gonna call it speed. And then you can automate it. Now, how you automate it is going to depend on your DAW. Uh, I have a custom shortcut, so I'm going to just go ahead and use that. But you could, uh, you know, do whatever you're going to do, depending on your DAW. And so I'm just going to sort of copy the shape. This is something that you listen to your sound and sort of make a decision on, you know, what kind of uh, effect you'd like here. But I settled on something kind of like this. So that is the one, that's the one we've made. And at this point, we come in here and sort of mess with this a bit more. And it's worth noting that the the waveform here, you can get a lot of cool sounds with the other waveforms. The sawtooth, you know, you just sort of the standard. Go ahead, let's bring the cutoff down some. And maybe we'll drag this out a little bit more and have a different kind of a curve. Maybe even smoother. Maybe this is a bit much here. And maybe we flatten out a bit sooner. And so on and so forth. But you're on your way. You understand the basics of the effect. And at this point, you can choose different waveforms, beef it up, add additional effects. You could try this on a bass sound. I decided to go with something that was a bit more reverby and open because I was aiming kind of for those future bass vibe area. And that is pretty much the sound. If you have any questions about this, feel free to let me know. Subscribe and hit that bell icon for future videos. And have a blessed day.